What is this smell? A flower? A perfume? No, it's love. And I know you feel it too. So why not make a whole video about the best couples and mobile legends who are in love? Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video, I'm going to talk about the best couples in MLBB so that you and your CP can pick and match together. Or at least your future one can, maybe. Before we start the video off, let me confirm something. While this video is not going to include any friendships in it, we are going to include all the unofficial couples also. And I have picked all the couples on a wide range of factors that being comics, lows, voice lines and skins too. Let's start the video with Alucard and Mia. These two are the iconic heroes and of the oldest known couples in MLBB. From their Valentine skin too, to Alu missing her in his voice lines. I miss Azria under the moonlight, as well as her silver longbow. We all know that they are couples, but last time I put them in the uncertain section in this video, if you remember. By the way, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you check this video out. But because of you guys, especially this person, I got to know about this side story that I completely missed last time. Now let's head and check another set of couples that I'm sure all of you people are familiar with. It's Fanny and Claude. If having two couple skins was not enough, they have a whole movie together, doing weird stuff together. Although the movie was kinda mad, I'm pretty sure we all like this couple's dynamic together of them. Although I couldn't find any official lore in between them, we can just put them as couples as we are not going for 100% lore accurate and confirmed couples here. Next we have Gushan and Leslie. Gushan and Leslie are one of the most well known couples out and there is no denying that fact that they are official from Moontoon. We have some good cinematics, comics and official relationship confirmation. They have good chemistry and they have saved each other's lives multiple times. And Leslie has also tied up Gushan once, lol. So guys, we have them here. Time to know more about Yuzong and Luoyi. If this was a different universe, and YZ didn't have the duty of saving Kadia Rivalence from the Southern Abyss, Luoyi and YZ would be husband and wife. And the absolute loyalty that Luoyi has towards YZ is just incredible. And it's not like she doesn't have a brain and following YZ blindly. Next, we have Benedetta and Brody. We all have seen Benedetta and Khalid for some reason. I don't know from where it started, but if there are chances of Benedetta not being single, it's probably going to be with Brody. Although you can't call them couples yet, their lore is connected together and they might end up together as the only other option she has is Olus. He's Leonin and I'm not sure how that's going to work out. So if we are going according to all the setup characters and lore, it's probably Benedetta x Brody. Let's check out Wan Wan and Yen next. These guys are too cute together and Yen is just destined to end up together. After all, he left Kedia Riverlands just for her. Hopefully Wan Wan doesn't fall for Ling in a skirt. And hopefully Yin doesn't fall for Malisa as she's going to cure him of Lei. Next is Hayabusa and Hanabi. Looks like I'm going to piss off a lot of people with this one. But if you know even a little about their new lore, you know that Kagura is completely out of the equation. And we often see Hayabusa complimenting Hanabi. So it is what it is. Next we have Lancelot and Audit. What is there to even say about them? You guys know everything about them. And we all know them why their lore is goated. So there isn't really any need for us to go in deep about them. Next we have Sicilian and Carmilla. Again we have same case of Lance and Audit and they too don't need any introduction and they are iconic. Sicilian and Carmilla are just couple goals for many people. Their romance is canon and we all love them, so they have to be included here. Up next is not really a well-known one, it's a Joy and Harith. Although all the DJs know about this one, the core audience of MLBB doesn't know about this one. 
and it's not really a ship. They have voice lines together. Hey, officer, who would have thought we'd be on the same team? Hey, officer, I'm just taking a walk here. Cinematics together, and even comics together. Although we don't have any official confirmation, Harry played a big role in Joy getting her powers. He was the one who pushed Joy to head out for the gleaming marsh of Leonids, where we see Joy getting her powers, so shipping them won't be that bad. And from my brain of 53,000 IQ, I guess they will get a Valentine skins for sure. Just wait and see. Up next is Franco and Freya. This one is a bit weird for everyday player, but hear me out. Franco and Freya have a weird relationship going. They both save each other from weird sports. They are united to take down the threat. That is bad. I needed a few representations from the Northern Well, so this was the couple that came to my mind. But in the Northern Well, apart from a few relationships, I wouldn't be surprised if Freya falls for Franco. Up next is Kufra and Esmeralda. Kufra and Esmeralda, this is a controversial one, as Esmeralda and Kufra are proper enemies according to lore. But Esmeralda is the reincarnation of Kufra's lover, that he just loves a lot and he doesn't want to hurt Esmeralda. Esme knows that her previous soul loved Kufra, but she can't love him back as he is the tyrant that everyone hates. It's a tragic story. But hey, at least they got a skin where they are together, didn't they? We have another unlikely couple that is from Northern Well, that is God and Eudora. If you didn't know, God and Eudora are both teachers at the Magic Academy in the Northern Well. We already have friendships about them, and both of their Christmas skins do match. We don't have any official confirmation about them, but if you tell me, they both might end up together. Next is Faramis and Vexana. I miss the old Vexana and Faramis lore, but it's fine in the new one that we all at least know that Faramis's childhood crush was Vexana. Although she did get married, but it's fine, he's dead now. Leomo took care of that guy, and we do see Faramis still longing for Vexana. Next, we have Granger and Silvana. We all knew that Granger and Silvana always had a thing for each other because Alu is taken by Mia, Joey and Harith have their thing and Fanny already has her heart stolen by a thief. So Granger is the only one left out and we got their Valentine skins. Up next is Lunox and Nathan. The Fate Deniers arc was amazing and the all-around introduction to Nathan itself was just a very fun to watch and be a part of. It's just a shame we hadn't had anything like that since the 4 second light, I think. But it's okay, on Fate Deniers, we saw the chemistry between Lunox and Nathan. Nathan, after all, was fixing Lunox's mistakes. Look, let's check out Harley and Lilia. Did you know that Harley has already confessed his feelings to Lilia? Yup, and Lilia played a prank on him. But I guess we can understand where Lilia is coming from. Although in the game she can control her powers, but in lore, she's a wreck. She can't really control her powers yet. Up next is Thamuz and Alice. Yeah, it's weird. And yeah, Alice is just probably using Thamuz for his power. But you have to understand that it's not really that simple. We don't really know what's happening behind the scenes. And Alice can understand what Thamuz is saying. So we don't know if Thamuz is being romantic about Alice whenever he speaks. Next, we have Julian and Melissa. I just don't see Melissa and Xavier. So Julian is our next best pick. They have zero interactions together in all the cinematics and comics. But who knows? I have the next two ones that are a bit spicy. We have Ikshia and Leila. <laughs> Both are underage, so let's not talk more about them. The only thing I would like to say is that this ship is much better than Clint and Layla. There is another Rainbow ship I would like to discuss is Valir and Vale. With the amount of time Vale references Valir, 
whenever I play him, I just have one thing in my mind. Why aren't these guys together yet? But after reading the lore, we can for sure see why these guys aren't together. So guys, which couples did you think I missed out on? Which is your favorite player here? Which heroes would you like to see together? Comment down all your thoughts below. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.